Since a change in absolute pressure of a confined gas is directly proportional to any change in absolute temperature, gas-filled thermometer systems are considered to be one of the most accurate methods of temperature measurement. They have a very wide operating range. have linear readouts and are unaffected by differences in case and bulb elevations. They have a maximum operating span of 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit and a minimum span of about 120 degrees Fahrenheit. The span of the instrument is determined by the range chosen. Remember, we use absolute values. The ratio of the maximum absolute temperature to the minimum absolute temperature must be more than 1.3. For example, if we wanted the maximum temperature of the span to be 300 degrees Fahrenheit, the minimum temperature would have to be 125 degrees Fahrenheit or lower. Our span could not be any less than 175 degrees. This relatively wide span would be impractical for systems that require fine control. The construction of a gas-filled system is almost identical to the liquid-filled system. The major difference is the filling or actuating material. Gas-filled systems use an inert gas such as nitrogen for the operating medium. The gas thermometer bulb is much larger than the liquid type. One reason for this is to make sure the bulb volume is large compared to the volume of the rest of the system. For good performance, the volume of the bulb should be at least eight times that of the rest of the system. Some companies design their systems such that the ratio of the bulb volume to the rest of the system may be 500 to 1. Because of the large bulb, the gas-filled system has a slow response time. Sometimes a capillary bulb is used for faster response. This will not affect the accuracy because the gas-filled system measures average temperature just as the liquid-filled systems do. The bulb can be made of any material which will withstand the internal pressure and be compatible with the process. Gas-filled systems are compensated for ambient temperature changes in the same way as the liquid-filled systems. Here is a summary of the characteristics of the gas-filled thermometer systems. The most popular type of filled thermal systems uses the vapor pressure of a volatile liquid as the actuating medium.
Like the other filled systems, it has a bulb, capillary, and measuring element. The system is first completely evacuated, and then partially filled with a volatile liquid. The most common liquids used for thermometer fills are ethyl alcohol, ether, methyl chloride, sulfur dioxide, and toluene. The amount of liquid used depends on the range desired and the temperatures to which the bulb will be exposed. The maximum operating temperature is 600 degrees Fahrenheit. The minimum temperature is minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit. The span can be a maximum of 280 degrees Fahrenheit and a minimum of 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Unlike the other systems, which measure average temperature, the vapor pressure type measures the temperature at the interface between the liquid and the vapor. This is why. The vapor pressure systems require no temperature compensation mechanisms. Vapor pressure systems fall into four subclasses. First, there are those with bulb temperatures higher than ambient. Notice the measuring element and capillary tube are full of liquid. Second are the installations with bulb temperatures lower than ambient. In these cases, the measuring element and capillary tube are full of vapor. The third subclass are the installations in which the bulb temperatures are both above and below ambient. As you can see, the fill in the measuring element and capillary tube changes back and forth between vapor and liquid. The fourth subclass is for bulb temperatures above, below, and at ambient temperature. This is actually a double-filled system. This type uses a non-volatile liquid to transmit the vapor pressure of the volatile liquid through the capillary into the measuring element. Thus, because the volatile liquid stays in the bulb, ambient temperatures will not upset the liquid-vapor relationship. The vapor pressure types of thermometers have nonlinear scales. This is because of the nonlinear characteristics of a liquid vapor pressure with respect to temperature. Notice the increasing rate of vapor pressure change as the temperature rises. This nonlinearity makes the vapor pressure system unsuitable for controllers. It can be an advantage, however, if the system is designed so that the temperature to be monitored is in the expanded range of the instrument. Since liquid-filled thermal systems have no problem with ambient temperature ranges, they are used in controller applications instead of the vapor pressure type. Class II, A and D will always need a static head adjustment if the bulb is higher or lower than the case.
Class 2C must always have the bulb and case at the same elevation. Class 2B needs no static head correction at all because all the liquid is in the bulb. Here's a summary of the characteristics of vapor pressure systems. Now work exercise three in your workbook. All the filled systems have a fast response time. Some are a little faster than others. The vapor pressure system is the least expensive, and the liquid hydrocarbon fill system is the most expensive. The fill type temperature measuring systems are used in petrochem plants for a number of reasons. Because of their simplicity, they can be ruggedly constructed and require minimum maintenance. They are also relatively inexpensive. The system is self-contained and needs no air supply or electricity when used as an indicator or recorder only. The filled system thermometers have enough power to drive transmitter and controller mechanisms. The indicator or recorder may be as much as 250 feet from the point of measurement. Some applications up to 400 feet are in successful use. Some disadvantages of the fill systems are the bulb may be too large to fit the available space. The maximum temperatures are not as high as electrical temperature measuring systems. Also, the span of the fill systems cannot be as narrow. Usually, the entire system has to be replaced if the tubing is broken or any part of the system fails. If you should ever need to select a filled thermal system for a particular installation, consider the systems in this order. Your first choice should be the vapor pressure type. It is the least expensive, simplest, most rugged, most responsive, and is not affected by ambient temperature changes. The liquid hydrocarbon fill system should be next. It has the smallest bulb, a uniform scale, narrowest spans, and satisfactorily measures ambient temperatures. The gas fill system would be the third choice. It has the widest range, a uniform scale, and is actually the best for measuring very low temperatures. Fill system thermometers are used extensively in remote locations. This system is controlling a tank product temperature. This recorder monitors the temperature of pipeline gas. It requires no supporting electrical or air systems. Many times they are installed as an operator convenience. Here, a temperature up in the unit can be read at grade level. Filled system thermometers use pressure actuated readout indicators or recorders. 
Therefore, they can be damaged by overranging. When units come down for turnarounds and steam outs are inevitable, be sure to remove the bulbs from the wells. If the range is higher than steam temperature, the removal is unnecessary. The vapor pressure type is less likely to be damaged by overheating, provided the capillary and the Borden tube element can hold all the liquid in the system. Once all the liquid is in the tube system, the application of more heat to the bulb will have little or no effect on the internal pressure. If there is any doubt about the type, it is best to go ahead and remove the bulb from the well. Then you are sure it will not be overranged. Now work exercise number four for segment 2.15.2.